today's mission is a new link because the connections are worn down to, I don't know, pretty thin. That's a new clip in there from a, from a different brand of chain. Um, I figured that's time to get it replaced. It was worn down that thin. And the other thing I am going to attempt with the wrong tools or sort of no tools really, bodge, bodge job. PDS bearing kit. That is the uh, infamous Heim joint in there. Um, I'm going to have to get the shock out and press the bearing out with some sockets is the plan. That's the shock out. Uh, decided to take this flap off for easy access. Um, what's next? I mean, maybe I should watch a video or something or read the guide, the uh, workshop manual. Hmm. Yeah, there's only one. You can't mistake it. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, I've got the spacers off around this uh, central kind of like bearing, just full of crusty rust, which not famous for its lubricant properties. Just in case you're wondering, it's an old one. That's a new one. I think it was about time we did the change. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I did just warn you it was going to be a bodge job. Uh, that is my bearing press arrangement. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? It's KTM Orange, so it's looking pretty legit. Abandoned ship, that didn't work very well, so I've resorted to the Suzuki yellow um, hammer and a socket. It seems to be working quite well. It's uh, got movement. Don't know if I showed this in an earlier clip, but um, I've got the Brillo on that and it's looking tasty, suitably clean. It was a bit minging before and I thought, that's not good enough. What would JR do? He'd clean it. With a little help from the blowtorch, <clears throat> that's the install set up. I've marked the depth with some tape on that socket, sort of split the difference. So bearing should now be sat near enough in the middle. What a difference that blowtorch makes, very good. Not much to look at with the finished article, but she's in there and uh, looking pretty good. One thing I have learned is that uh, you shouldn't try and screw a quarter inch 13 mil socket with an adapter up to 80 Newton meters, because it just says, I'm not playing your game. See ya. On to the next job. And this one's pretty trivial, I'm gonna say. But those uh, studs there, these guys, I mean, they're worn down pretty good uh, compared with the new one. Here's that shot again. You see the difference. Um, yeah, gonna do it. That's it, gents. I'm having a really good day. By the way, um, I've changed that bearing at the bottom of the shock. That went really well. Uh, new link in the chain that's gone pretty good. Uh, dead easy, of course. Um, I just did the chain. It's now where it wants to be. And the absolute icing on the cake is the fact that it generally does this every time now. Ugh. And uh, best of all, I mean, can't beat it. Very good.